Hi students, how are you? Okay, fine. Today I teach uh, class fifth subject social, the continuous fold uh, lesson, agriculture. Agriculture. Previous class we shall uh, discuss about the agriculture, agriculture field. What are the crops? Crops, plants grown on the agriculture fields are called crops. Plants grown on the agricultural field are called crops. Today's class, we shall discuss about the, the categories of the farmers. The farmers working in the fields are other three categories. The farmers working in the fields are three categories. First one, farm laborers. Second one, small scale laborers. Third one, large scale laborers. What, uh, what is the small scale? What is the farmers? Farmers, they farm laborers. Farm laborers means they do not have own agriculture land. The farm laborers means they do not have own agricultural land. They work in some other person's field to earn their living. The farm laborers do not have own agricultural land. They work in some other person's field to earn their living purposes. These are called farm laborers. Next, what is small scale farmers? Small scale farmers means the small scale farmers own a piece of land. A piece of land, one hectare or two hectare. Only piece of land of their own. Only piece of land of their own. Of their own. These are called the small scale farmers. What are the other one is large scale farmers? Large scale farmers means usually large scale farmers own more agricultural land. 5 acres, 6 acres, 10 acres, more than Agricultural land, these are called large scale farmers. In your textbook, page number 100, read the information given below. You look in your textbook, read the information given below. Try to understand the three categories of the farmers. Try to understand the three categories of the farmers. You can take the help of your elders. For me, it is a village, it is a small village, looking like in your village. All the people of the village are living with love, faith and peaceful coexistence life. The village people living with love, faith and peaceful coexistence and understand the mutual cooperation. Rangama belongs to the same village. Rangama a woman belongs to this in this village. She does not have agricultural land or own. She does not have agricultural land. They do not have own agricultural land. These are called farm laborers. Rangamma does not have agricultural land. It is a responsibility to manage our family. It is a responsibility. How she can manage our family? So she does weeding, planting separating cotton from the plant in other farmers in other farmers they work in some other person's field to earn their living these are called farm laborers Julukamma of the same village is a close friend of Rangamma Julukamma is a farmer Julukamma is a small scale farmer she won a piece of land. Chilkama won a piece of land. Their own land. She runs her family by selling crops grown on her farm. Both these women like Manjamma very much. Other women like is Manjamma. Manjamma is a large scale farmer. Large scale farmer means usually large scale farmers own more agricultural land. Manjama is a successful lady, agriculturist. She owns about 10 and 15 acres of land in the village. Many women of the village like Rangamma work in her agricultural land. Manjama not only growing crops but also she rears 
whole and cat she purchases modern agriculture equipments for evaluation purposes she also earns money through apiculture rearing honey bees and silviculture silk or breeding so people of the village call on a large scale farmer she always encourages manjamma always encourages and gives suggestions to the villagers practice agriculture like hey have read information you have to you know match characters in the information the correct words in your textbook look here rangamma she is farm laborers jalakamma she is small scale farmer manjamma she is large scale farmers next to farm laborers they do not have their own land they do not have own agricultural land they work in some other person's field to earn their living farm laborers have problems of their own in village community in village people the farm laborers faces so many problems here are some statements sir in your textbook put right more to the statements that are related and wrong more to that or not related to the problems of the farm laborers first one farm laborers do not get work throughout the year farm laborers do not get work throughout the year varsha poorthi avarge kelsa sigutta illa it is wrong they get very less wage yes farm laborers are very rich wrong many rules have been implemented to solve the problems government of karnataka government of india so so many implemented programs for example it is a mandatory to give minimum wage to the laborers mandatory given to the minimum wage to the village laborers next small scale farmers small scale farmers have a own land of their own they sell the crop they grow in their field and earn money to feed life they also face a number of problems small scale farmers faces number of so many problems for example shortage of money to cultivate to the land shortage of money to cultivate to the agricultural land as the land holding is little land holding is little their earning is not self sufficient small scale farmers earning is not sufficient to feed the family many times they do not get water for the land because of poor irrigation facilities poor irrigation facilities in the rural area they lack proper guidance to the grow crops that suit to soil fertility of their land or the seasons lack of problem guidance to the growing the crops a number of steps have been taken to solve their problems the government of karnataka the government of india have been taken to solve their problems for example monetary aid through bank loans give the crop loans to the small scale farmers given to the banks irrigation facilities to the channels irrigation facilities next to small scale farmers again large scale farmers usually large scale farmers own more agriculture than 10 acres and 15 acres many others help in the agriculture practice some statements related to large scale farmers are given here observe in your textbook the large scale farmers they purchase and use modern agricultural equipment cultivation to the land they store the grains the bones bones and sell it when they get the better price they utilize the monetary facilities of the bank the large scale farmers utilize the banking facilities their income is high as they grow different types of crops in their agricultural field 
we know that the farmers to agriculture in the agricultural land agricultural hand land has been classified into two categories agricultural land classified into two categories first one rain fed agricultural land second one irrigated agricultural land okay students we shall stop in this class next i continue next class thank you students